What celebrity is over-sexualized? Do you think this helps or hurts them? Where to even begin? Almost any young celebrity who comes of age is pretty much thrown to the wolves both online and to the media in general, whether they want it or not. And I suppose that's the line whether they want it or not. If it is something a celebrity seeks out then I dare say it can help their career. But for the vast majority who didn't want that sort of attention it can cause a lot of harm if not be a career ender if it results in a mental health crisis. Olivia Dunn and it hurts her. The NCAA put rules in effect to prevent this from happening. But because she's so damn hot and with the world as sexually charged as it is, they bent the rules for her. And now she can't go to class, the college has to spend funds on bodyguards for her. People know intimate knowledge of her like the length of her toes. And yet no one seems to know, or even care, what degree she is trying to achieve. Billie Eilish probably spelled that wrong. Sorry. Anyway, I'm not sure how Billie identifies. Looks pretty, charming, and accept Billie as a friend but without knowing the exterior parts I'm a heterosexual male I would not be comfortable in a sexual relationship unless there was a vagina down there. Could even be post-operation, man shrugging. But getting back on topic over-sexualized. A ton of girl groups in K-pop, especially the ones that closer in age to 10 than 20. This is a general statement but the industry is heavily shaped around buying into that fantasy relationship with you idols. In particular for girls, many of them don't have careers after a certain age because attention just moves on to hotter, younger ones. And the cycle continues. Most good-looking actresses are objectified. If they have great talent, it is often overlooked due to their beauty. For example, Natalie Portman, Florence Pugh, Margot Robbie, Angelina Jolie, Emma Watson, Anne Hathaway, Halle Berry, and so many more. This can apply to female singers as well. Emma Watson JFC people were absolutely disgusting about her from the young age. Think all the gross shit led her to want to be in a lot less. I know personally I try to avoid films with her in them because it always reminds me of how gross everyone was about her when she was a kid. I'm sure it had to hurt all the celebrities that have had countdowns till they turn 18 like Kim Watson, Natalie Portman, Brooke Shields, Justin Bieber, Britney Spears, Millie Bobby Brown, the Olsen twins etc. I would imagine that could be really traumatizing. Zendaya. She's objectively good looking, but because she doesn't have a body like Scarlett, Johansson, people try to knock her for it or at least are quick to point out that she's not attractive at all. I see it in most posts about her. Pedro Pascal and Taylor Lautner. I think it's helping Pedro but I feel it hurt Taylor. What I think is that it's okay to get a crush on a celebrity but once you start openly sexualizing them, you're crossing a dangerous boundary. Bit of a story. My ex-friend stalked the actor that plays Will Byers on Stranger Things can't remember his name at the moment but it was generally creepy considering she wanted to have children with him and some other stuff as well. Ariel Winter from Modern Family had breast reduction surgery when she was pretty young if my memory serves me. I would guess being over-sexualized played a part in that decision so I would count that as a hurt rather than a help. Eliza Dushku the poor woman was molested as a child while filming True Lies and sexually harassed while on the set of Bull at least in the latter case she was able to settle for $8 million. Millie Bobby Brown. I'm predicting she will be the new Britney Spears, as in child star who grew up too fast and has a mental breakdown later in life. I very much hope this is not the case. Billie Eilish. And no I don't think it helps her. I think it's made her insecure and has affected her mental health especially being in the public eye at such a young age. Millie Bobby Brown is there was a countdown for when she turned 18. She is one of many examples of how Hollywood and its reporters prey on vulnerable women at a young age. Margot Robbie, I think they are overdoing it having her dress very provocatively it could hurt her chances of getting serious roles in movies she's perfect for. Well, she's older now but, Charlo happens to be a world-class acoustic guitarist. But she chose to play up her appearance I felt like she had to. Most of the actors actors are. I guess for the short term, they feel great but as time passes by, they age, they feel miserable. Just my guess though folks. Henry Cavill both men and women love him I think it hurts him as he doesn't really get proper leading man roles he does but not on a Brad Pitt level. The ones that turn 18. Hurts them because everyone suddenly thinks it's okay to sexualize them even though they look no different than the year before. Harry Styles I know he's expressed discomfort about it. But I also know his fan base is lots of teenage girlies so it's overall boosted his career. Jessica Alba. Ever since when I saw her in cute penguin underwear in a movie about 20 years ago she will forever be the sexiest woman in the world. Kim Kardashian. I read an interview a while ago. 
She stated that she is overly sexualized but she is not interested in sex as the public assumes. Although she became famous starting as an adult, Jennifer Lawrence, and I got really upset for her after the whole 2014 iCloud hacking incident. By Skanda. Philippine gay celebrity. He really is a groundbreaker in some aspects but I think he should tone it down a little bit. I remember when as soon as Emma Watson turned 18, the paparazzi went crazy, trying to get pictures of her dress and everything. I don't understand this topic, how does it hurt any celebrities to be considered attractive? This is a fake problem. Kardashian is she appealing? Her contribution to the entertainment industry? Does she have natural things on her body? Marilyn Monroe was like a patient zero of hypersexualization really damaged her mental health and self-perception. Ariana Grande and Miley Cyrus. I feel like they took this route to counteract the Disney wholesomeness thing. Finn Wolf Howard. He's 20 now, but I've heard grown women sexualize him since he was a child. It's gross. Kim K and of course not, seeing her sexual behavior was the origin story of her whole career. Danny DeVito. I understand he's a sex symbol but he's somebody's grandfather guys come on. Ron Jeremy happened. Literally made a family name. That's what raised us. It's weird. Ripley. Now granted, she plays into it and is fun doing it, but it's a lust fist. I feel like Chloe Bailey just seems like she's trying to make a point with it. Killian Murphy. And I think he doesn't give a shit about whatever anyone thinks. Danny DeVito. I think he's probably come to terms with being objectified by now. Pedro Pascal. It started out harmless but now I think it's getting out of hand. Chase Dreams. Reinventing what kind of sexual appeal he has was his undoing. John Hamm has some are big dick problems but I don't think it's hurting him. Olivia Dunn. She can't even go to in-person class because of creepy men. Ryan Reynolds. I am one of the worst offenders and I will never stop. Fire. Hot face. Fire. Xi Jinping. Lots of nasty pics of his face on some women bodies. Puke. Sydney Sweeney. I get it she has big boobs. People need to get over it. Jenna Ortega. I feel. It might help, but it may personally hurt her. Kesha, and it hurt her a lot. Physically, mentally, emotionally. Adam Driver. But clearly he was placed here for our objectification. I'd say most women celebrities are. Especially the younger ones. Kim Kardashian. She just does not deserve that. She is just ugly. Poor Megan Fox turned into some kind of plastic surgery mutant. It's kind of depressing how easy it is to list people for this. Pamela Anderson. Though I don't think it bothers her one bit. Alison Brie was pretty young. We tried not to sexualize her. Chloe Bailey. She must be naked at all times it feels like. I never got the appeal of Emma Watson. I just don't see it. Henry Cavill. He's hot. But God. Leave him alone ha 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 ha. Sydney Sweeney. In the long run it will hurt her career. Our late Sinead O'Connor shaved her head for this reason. Pedro Pascal being everyone's daddy helps him immensely. Which aren't in their own way. I mean, Terminator porn? Judy Hopps. The edits I've seen of her. That poor bunny. Henry K. They'll take him more seriously after Witcher. Danny DeVito. But I get it. The man is incredibly sexy. Anna Kendrick and it might help her but it hurts me.